Sunday, February 12th, 11th. Let me see. I don't even know. I think it is February 11th. And I just wanted to show you guys what I've done so far this morning. I drink my OptiGreens already, which looks like this. And I also drink two cups of hot water with apple cider vinegar. My favorite thing to drink in the morning time. It's really good for your digestion system, uh, bloating, all that stuff. So that's what I did. And then I also went ahead and planned out my week in my happy planner. So I have just the basics of stuff that I need to do this week. Um, you'll notice my power list are all at the top. And yeah, so I'll still add some stuff in as we go throughout the week. But this is what we got so far. And right now I'm headed to the gym, the grocery store, and I also have to go fax these insurance card to my um, husband's dad. Long story, but anyways, he's out of town right now for airborne school, and um, I guess his truck is registered in Arkansas where um, his dad, is, his parents are. So I don't, I don't really know why he's taking care of it. But anyways. I got to fax these to him so he can have proof of insurance to renew his tax. And then, yeah, so a couple of things. We actually found out that my husband is gone right now for four weeks, and we just found out that he is going to um, go to ALC, which is the school to be promoted to, to E6, um, in April. And so he'll be gone for another six weeks then, but that pushed back our report date for Alaska. So now, instead of us going separately, due to my school, his original date was in May, and we don't get out till June, so I was just gonna stay behind again. Um, we now get to go together because his report date is July something. So that's awesome news. I'm really excited. I hate PCSing without him. It's like a pain in the butt, and I just, it would be way better to go together. Um, and especially since we have this little fool now. <laughs> Atlas, what are you doing? He's just chilling. But um, yeah, so I'm excited about that. The only thing that I'm kind of worried about is. We still have to make sure that we're actually gonna to go to Alaska because since he's now gonna be probably be promoted to E6 before we get there, that could mess some things up because the position that he is going into was an E5 position or an E5 slot. So if now he's gonna be an E6, they may not need an E6 in his unit or battalion or whatever. So it could kind of mess some things up, but regardless, we'll go together wherever we do go. So that's good. And I'm pretty sure we'll still be able to go to Alaska, I hope, because I'm already like dead set on it and I've already done all my school stuff. To switch over my teaching stuff and it would be a really big pain if we don't but you never know that's how the army goes so i just gotta suck it up and deal with it and stop trying to control everything because it's out of my hands <laughs> so i'm gonna go run some errands now head to the gym just got my phone back funny story on thursday i um stayed at school kind of late and i had to um go home after that and let atlas out of his crate well I put all my stuff on top of my trunk, including my phone, which is out of my purse. And when I put everything away, I forgot to put my phone in my car. So I drove off like an idiot with my phone on my trunk and it flew off. Long story short, couldn't find it, couldn't find it. Went back, retraced my steps, couldn't find it. Went to the AT&T store, retracked it with the Find My iPhone app. Saw that it was laying in the middle of the road. Went back with the AT&T guy, he actually helped me. And we found it, but it was completely shattered and smashed and had been ran over like five times. So I had to file an insurance claim, get a new phone, yada yada, it was a pain in the butt, but now I have, and I got this cute, I'll show you. I had a pink case like with pink glitter before, but I wanted to switch it up, why not? So I got this case with this donut um, pop socket, and this reminds me of the Sprinkle Top Teacher, so I hope she has a donut pop socket. If not, I need to send her one, because it's totally her. But. That is that, so I'm glad to have that back because again, my husband's gone, so of course things like this happen and I didn't have an alarm to wake me up in the morning for school and it's just really a big pain in the butt to have no phone. So I'm gonna head to run all these errands now and then when I come home, I have to get grading done and meal prepping done. I have so much to grade still. I feel like I've been grading my life away lately, but it's because I got so behind and we have these unit assessments that take forever to grade. And I just keep putting them off, putting them off, but I really just have to get them done because we have a report card soon. So I can't put it off any longer. So that's the plan for today. It is about 12.30, so I'm gonna head out and get this stuff done now. And so hopefully tonight I can finish everything I need to do for school tomorrow. I have two subs um, tomorrow and the day after that for DRA testing and for telepass, and then I have an appointment. Craziness, but we're gonna get through it. So I will check in with you guys later on today. 
So I also packed this for after my gym um, workout because I'm gonna be going to the grocery store after that and so I don't wanna be starving to death. Plus you have to replenish the glycogen that you broke down during your workout. So this is CTC. Um, which is basically Cinnamon Toast Crunch flavored protein. This is the Formula One. This is a whey protein isolate and it is fast acting, so, or fast digesting. So as soon as you drink it, it's gonna be restoring the glycogen in your muscles and I'm also using ignition with that too, which is the carb source. So I have that packed ready to go, have no excuses. This stuff tastes so freaking good. I'm not even kidding you. I could live off this. It does not taste like protein. It is so delicious. It tastes like the milk at the bottom of a cereal bowl. 100% it is so good so I have that with me so that I can stay um, full until after I get home and can eat again so I have to show you guys <laughs> my cat this is Hamilton I have another cat too named Annabelle but this is Hamilton he's an orange tabby he only has three legs but he is so freaking cute and he's super vocal don't mind my unmade unmade bed but he meows a lot when he wants attention is <laughs> of course he's not gonna do right now but He's super cute. Hey, Martin. <laughs> okay, so I tried to go fax the papers, but unfortunately FedEx and UPS are closed today, which I thought one of them was open on Sundays, but I don't know, I guess not. So that's okay, I'll just put it off and do it during the week, which I hate doing because I'm so busy during the week, it's really hard for me to do things like that, but it's not that big of a deal. It'll take like four seconds. So I'm at the gym now. I'm gonna drink the rest of this pre-workout. I just, I did like half a scoop because I did take the Master Brain this morning, which is um, a stimulant too. So I didn't want to go too crazy, but this is the uh, Strawberry Kiwi uh, Megawatt. So I never tried it before. So I'm going to try it right now and tell you guys how it is. Every time I would try to buy this flavor, it was sold out. And I used to get so upset because <laughs> I wanted to try it so bad. Ooh, it's super good. It's like... I don't know. It doesn't seem as like potent of a flavor as the other ones, but I think I put too much water compared to how much pre-workout I did since I didn't do that much, but it's really good. Also, I'm super excited because I just talked to one of my friends who lives in Alaska and her husband is like super high up in rank and she basically they know everything because I know nothing and my hair is crazy. Um, so anyways, I was telling her about how I'm worried about him, about Clay not being able to go to Alaska still because of his promotion and blah, blah, blah. And she said that they don't actually divert E6 and E5s because it's, they just don't do that. So that's not really an option and that he's locked in. I'm like, thank God. So now I can rest easy and I'm super pumped because that's just really hard to not know where you're going and to feel like maybe everything that you've already done as far as getting my certification and et cetera is a waste and a waste of $300. It's kind of crappy. So... And it's just hard like not knowing, you know? So that's good. She said that a lot of people, they need people in Alaska too. And they just, it's not something they do with E5s and E6s. So that's good. We don't have to worry about that. And I'm going to tell him too, because like I said, we've been stressing out a little bit, but I'm going to drink this pre-workout and then go work out. I'm going to do back today or arms. I haven't decided. It doesn't look like the gym is that busy. I don't know. Back or arms. I actually don't like training arms, but you gotta do it. So I'm gonna do one of those and then I'll catch in, check in with you guys. Okay, so workout is done. I did arms and like 15 minutes of cardio. I was gonna do 30, but I decided not to. Um, hopefully this week I can keep my workouts on track and I still had a really good workout. So I'm gonna head to the grocery store now and I will show you guys later on what I get. So I just made a little snack. Um, it is 7.30 and this is the last thing I'm gonna eat before bed. I still have a lot to do, but I'm hungry. So I'm gonna eat this and this will finish up my macros. So I have here just a bowl of maple and brown sugar oatmeal. This is the weight control oatmeal though. So it's lower calorie. Um, and then one banana cut up and it was a smaller banana as you can see. And then one tablespoon of peanut butter. So this will finish up my macros and it looks delicious and I can always go for some oatmeal. So. That's what I'm gonna eat now. And then I did finish grading a lot, but I still have to grade a little bit more. I still have to finish um, putting my meals together. I have everything cooked that I'm gonna eat, but just like portioning it out. And then laundry, sub plans. And then I wanna try to get this TPT product done, but I don't know if it's gonna happen tonight. So we'll see. But um, sub plans are a must because I do have a sub tomorrow. So I have to get those done tonight. 
at least most of them done and then yes yeah, so i'll check in with you guys in a little bit it is now 5 17 and i am meal prepping a little bit i have brussels sprouts here i just used garlic powder and obviously this pam um they're super good brussels sprouts are one of my favorite vegetables i just don't make them a lot because i used to eat them all the time so i got kind of sick of them but now i'm ready for them again and i also have chicken in the crock pot so I just put it on high and when I put it on high, it'll take probably like four to five hours ish. Um, and since I didn't start it till kind of late, I didn't want it to be going all night long. So I took it on high or I put it on high instead. And I'm also going to make lean ground turkey, I think, which is, this is what I buy. Um, I actually usually, usually prefer to buy the 93% lean or the 95% or 97% lean, but for me, it's not that big of a deal. So they only had the 99% lean, so whatever. Um, it just is a little bit less flavorful because it's like barely any fat whatsoever. Um, I also have these beef patties. I'm going to show you guys. These are really good. Um, these are actually really lean too, and they taste delicious. Clay always makes them into burgers, and they're really good. Um, these are my favorite guacamole things and oh my gosh I just realized I got spicy I did not mean to get spicy I do not like spicy things but hopefully look at me I didn't even know there's a pepper on it Ugh. oh well those are my favorite guacamoles because every time I buy an avocado I never end up cutting it and then it just goes bad so these are another thing I want to show you guys these little potatoes are so good and they're so easy to make so easy they taste delicious too so I'm gonna finish meal prepping and then I have got to get to greeting. So my plan is kind of grade a little bit, meal prep some more, grade some more, meal prep some more. My dog is jumping on me. Um, because I hate grading and I just, I have to get these unit assessments done ASAP, so. Hello, why are you freaking out? Say hello. Hi, hi. <laughs> okay, and then, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna grade. Get caught up on that and then we'll see i want to make a tpt product and i do i do have a store i've had a store for a few months i just didn't upload anything into it for a while um, but i uploaded a grocery list that you guys can use and i uploaded what else oh a questionnaire for teacher conferences parent teacher conferences a questionnaire for the parents um but i want to make we're going to make cupid floats on valentine's day and i want to make like a whole sorry i'm trying to see what my dog is eating i want to make like a whole little activity thing to go with that um, a how to writing so I want to make little cards that have the directions of how to make the um, the cupid floats or at least the ingredients and then have the kids take that and do the writing for a how to on how to make those floats it's just strawberry soda vanilla ice cream um, licorice for the straws and I got little stirrers from Target that are really cute so I went and got the ice cream today because I don't want to have to deal with that later I just got a huge thing of vanilla I got two of them um, and that'll be plenty so and I have parents donating the Twizzlers or the licorice, whatever they are, for the straws. And then um, I still need to get cups. But I have parents donating the soda and the straws. So that's good. But yeah, so we'll see if I get that done. I don't know. Honestly, so much to do. And it's already 5.30. <gasps> okay, here we go. Meal prep. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys my lunch for tomorrow. I have chicken here and Brussels sprouts. Um, one of these yogurts these are really good they were actually out of all the flavors i like this one there's only one of these and the rest of them are like key lime which i don't care for but i got some of those and then this banana and then some strawberries and blueberries and i've already inputted all this into my fitness pal for tomorrow this is just going to hold me over like i said i have a sub um and then i'll be going off campus for the rest of the day so i have a half day sub while i'll be at school and then the rest of the day i won't be at school so this will just keep me held over for the day until I can get home. And I went ahead and made three of the meals with chicken and Brussels sprouts. And then these little snacks are really quick. So I just put those as I go. So, Okay, I just made these for Wednesday for Valentine's Day. And this is just a writing how to uh, make Cupid floats. Every Valentine's Day I've done these. Like I said, I think already in this vlog. But I also made these little ingredient cards that I'm going to give to each student so that way they know the ingredients that are in the Cupid Flow. It's just to help them out. I have a lot of sped kids, so they definitely need it. Um, I also made, so here's the first one with the picture, and then I want them just to do the procedural writing. And I also made an extra paper with just more lines, just in case I have some that really love to write. And although I would always encourage them to write a lot, this is kind of a shorter thing just because there's only three ingredients, so 
it's not really, and there's not that much to it, but I thought it would still be really cute. So I also made this, just a parent teacher conference questionnaire. Um, I'm gonna make copies of that tomorrow for my kiddos, but this will be really good for them just to know. For some reason I can't get this one to upload in my TPT store the right way. The font isn't changing, I don't know why, so I just deleted it, but if you guys want it, just let me know. There's a lot of them out there, but I just made it what questions I want to ask, so. But yeah, so I'm gonna head to bed. I'm gonna make my lunch really quickly. I still did not make sub plans, but hopefully I can get that done in the morning because I'm tired and I'm ready for bed. So I will see you guys. Actually, I'm probably gonna end this vlog here just because I wanted this just to be a quick one. So thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.